guys, I'm Eza and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my February wrap-up and my March TBR. And let's get started! So for the month of February, I read about six books. Only one was not mediocre, and that's because it's Harry Potter. So the first book that I read, okay, this book was, I read it in like January, but I inserted it in my, blah, 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 blah. I inserted it in my February wrap-up is because I only read one book in January and I didn't feel like making a wrap-up of just one book because it's too sad. So the book that I read in January was It Should Have Been Me by Philippa Ashley. I gave this guy a 3 out of 5 rating and not because it's bad or anything, it's just okay. It's just mediocre. You know, it's very predictable. The plot is about this girl who has been dating this guy for 10 years and then suddenly out of the blue or seemingly out of the blue, he breaks up with her because he's like, girl, I need to see greener pastures. You know, we've been dating each other for so long. I need to see some other pussies. So he goes and breaks up with her. Obviously, she's heartbroken because they're engaged. And then, you know, it's 10 years of her life, and then she finds out that he's going to marry another girl, and she just, like, goes completely batshit crazy. After that incident, she says to herself, okay, enough is enough, he's moving on with his life, I need to move on to no matter how painful it is. So she goes on this whole, like, self-discovery journey, and then on the way, she meets a guy, she falls in love, and they live happily ever after. So the next book that I read was... We Were One by Elizabeth Reyes. So this book, I got it from the author herself. She emailed me and I was like, okay, why not? Synopsis seems pretty cool. So I gave this book a 3 out of 5. Yeah. I had a lot of problems with this book. <laughs> and it's not, it's not because it's not good. I mean like, it's okay, it's mediocre. But there were a lot of things which I felt was just, I don't know, I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the characters, I felt like the characters were really, I couldn't, I couldn't relate to them. Like they were teenagers, suddenly they fall in love and it's like soulmates and shit and I just cannot, I can't even remember what was my review of this book. I just remember that I ranted a lot. Honestly, to tell you. This book was so mediocre, I can't even remember the plot anymore. So, but I will link, I will link it in my, like, down below. Because I wrote it in my blog before I restarted my YouTube channel. So if you want to check out my review of this book, check out my blog. So, yeah. Moving on! So, the next book that I read was Breaking Up is Hard to Do, But You Could Have Done Better by Hilary Campbell. I got this book from NetGalley and I gave this one a 3 out of 5. And I I couldn't give it any higher. It's not that I didn't enjoy it, I really did. I thought it was really funny. All of the it's pretty much a short book about like people breaking up with other people. You know, like you get some people who just went batshit crazy with their exes, like literally kidnapping them. You get an ex who broke up with this girl because he thought he found a better girl and turns out his new girl is a complete monster and so he realized too late that he lost a diamond and yeah it was really funny and it was really entertaining reading all of these short stories of breakups ranging from happy sad psychotic to just I don't know pathetic so yeah it was good the next one is The Widow by Siona Barton. I gave this book a 3 out of 5. I got this from the library and I actually did a review on this so I'll put all the links down below. And this book is just about this widow. I can't remember. Um, it's about this widow whose husband was a... What is that word? Convicted? No, not convicted. Pretty much everybody thinks her husband is this pedophile who kidnapped this little girl and it was a huge case in the UK in this book. So it was the journey of asking this journalist, asking uh, the wife or the widow, does she know where the body is? Is it her husband? Is it really her husband who kidnapped the kid? Is it somebody else? Does she know anything else? So yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And... 
let's see. The fifth book is Bookishly Ever After by Isabel Bandera. This book I gave it a 2 out of 5. And again, I got it from NetGalley and I did a review on it. So link is down below, girl. And I hated this book. Let's just put it out there. I hated this book. I hated this book so much. <sighs> this book was just such a disappointment. Okay, the... The plot is about this girl who's a bookish nerd who wants to get this guy. So she thinks like, okay, since I read a lot, I might as well read a lot of books that, you know, might give me tips to get the guy. So obviously, the book itself, it's very predictable, but I was hoping it would have been cute. You know, it would have been a cute read a la Geekerella or like, I don't know, to all the boys I've loved before or something. Something cute, you know, predictable but cute. It was not cute, it was just tedious, I just cannot with this book. Characters were bland, plot was predictable, it's just I could not relate, and I felt like the protagonist was a complete airhead. She's just, she's just stupid, she's just so stupid. Yeah. The only redeeming book that I read this month was, no not this month, this is March, last month was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So I gave that a 5 out of 5 because it's Harry Potter, it made me happy, it just it just made everything right in the world, okay? And yeah, I read the book and I thought I was, I thought that I'm, now I'm 25, I'm, I'm gonna like be more nitpicky with it, be like, oh, this shit that JK didn't do it right or whatever, but no. I read the book, I mind you, I bought this book when I was 7, I'm 25 now, so that's like what, 18 years? I read this book again, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more now that I'm an adult rather than when I was a kid, because when I read it, I can read and understand the meaning behind the text, meaning behind whatever plot JK Rowling was trying to do or trying to convey. I felt like the world building was on point, the characters were perfect. And it was just a really, really good book. Everything was on point. It made me feel like life was right again. I was, I don't know, reading all these mediocre books, especially Bookishly Ever After and We Were Warned by Elizabeth Reyes. God, Jesus, I, ugh. I had, I just, ugh. I went on a complete rant on both my blog and the other books, whatever. And yeah, I don't know, all, reading all these mediocre books just made me just lose hope in reading again. And when you have a booktube and a book blog, going into a reading slump that lasts shit long is not good, okay? Because what are you gonna talk about on your blog and your YouTube? What? You're, both of it is about books. What are you gonna talk about? Nothing. There's nothing to talk about. So yeah, I start reading Harry Potter because, you know, at least I know that book didn't, would never disappoint me. <sighs> so I went on a, like, so now I'm reading. Oh, oh, since I'm talking about like what I'm going to read, what I'm reading now, I might as well go to the March for my March TBR. I am planning to read Best Day Ever by Kyra Ruda. It's a book I got from NetGalley. I have no idea what it's about. I just want to get it out, get it off my NetGalley TBR. The next one I'm going to read is um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Actually, I already finished Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So um, I'm going to continue and I'm actually reading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban right now. And the next book I'm going to read is A Duke Like No Other by Valerie Bowman. This one, I just received it from the publishers. And I've read all her other books, so I'm excited to read this one. And the last book I'm going to read is The Luck of the Bride by Yana McGregor. Again, I read, um, I think this is the Cavendishum, Ka Cavendishum, Cavendishum Eras series. So I read all of the previous ones and the publisher, the publisher was like saying, hey, you want to read the latest one by her? And I was like, duh. So I'm reading it. And I only chose all these books, which is one, two, three, four, I think. Yeah, four books for March because I want to keep, like, a schedule. I'm not very good in, like, doing a TBR because I don't 
exactly read what I'm supposed to read in my TBR. I kind of just follow my mood. So I'm keeping it to four that I have to read no matter what. And then the rest is just like, yeah, you know, whatever, mood reading. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!